What you're looking at is a 1985 Bridgeport R2E3, also known as a Boss 8. Let me give you a good look at the machine. It's already on skids and ready to ship. It's uh, under power. So I'm going to demonstrate now uh, drip feeding G code to it um, using a DNC program from a PC. So, the first thing we're going to do is enable the access, enable the accesses, and the machine will home to zero. And I need to start the DNC program. And then I'm going to clear any previous runs. And then load the DNC file. Um, this old of a machine, you have to number the DNC files. So I've numbered this one 22. And it says DNC linked. Then I'll select auto and start. The machine's run to a tool change position so I can put whatever tool I want and I'll hit start again. Now the Z-axis is touched down on the part and the coolant has started. Then I'll enable the spindle start to cut, and I'll start throwing chips, turn it back to home so you can remove the part. The machine's fully functional, it includes the computer, the uh, DNC application, completely set up and ready to go. It also has a coolant tank, a pump, and a shroud around the table to protect, I mean, to keep the coolant from splashing off of the table. We'll manually move the machine. We'll move X to four, Z to minus one, I mean Y to minus one, And then we're going to move Z to minus 2. And we could also jog the wheels. We could also jog the axes with the jog knob so we can jog the X axis, jog the Y axis, or jog the Z axis. All right, now let's get a better look at the rest of the machine. Okay, so I've pulled the Bridgeport R2E3 out of its slot. Um, today is December 12th, 2011. But I wanted to walk around the machine and show that it's all, everything's intact. You can see the control panel's in pretty good shape. A couple buttons worn and stuff. All of the... Uh, the speed increase and decrease works just fine. This is where I placed on the side cabinet. I placed the uh, monitor and the keyboard and mouse. In this cabinet is where the um, self-oiler is. You just have to pull up on this and, and it'll just keep itself oiled. Here's all the connections on the side. This is for the coolant, which I've disconnected. It's right there, the coolant tank. Um, this is the main cabinet. You can see all the parts are there. And then on this side is where I actually place the computer itself on the top of the cabinet on the left side of the machine. And in this compartment are all the drives.